Uh, on the court before practice with Chris Snocky, you've been here through a couple administrations, I'll call a DC term. What do you see as the big change with having Coach Willard come in? Well, I think anytime you get a change, you know, there's a there's a nice positive bump from it. And uh, I think that you've got still got a group of kids that are really willing and eager to learn, and, you know, from a new perspective, new coach, new style. And, um, and I think that for a lot of folks, you know, they want to get the taste of last year out of their mouths. So they're, they're eager to atone. Uh, and I've been to practice a couple of times. It's a group that really works hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully good things will come, of that, come out of that. When I talked to Gary Williams before the football game last week, mm -hmm. I've talked to Kevin Willard. They both bring up the relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of that and how Kevin's embracing the Maryland legacy? Well, having been to practice and having played for Gary, mm -hmm. uh, Kevin's style is a lot more like Gary's style than I think people uh, understand. And you watch him in practice, he's... You know, he's intense, he's into it. I, now, I've never seen him punt a ball into the second tier of stands <laughs> like I've seen Gary yeah. on a number of occasions, but uh, they're very, very similar in their outlook. Mm -hmm. It doesn't surprise me at all that they had become fast friends because they're just, uh, uh, they're very similar to each other. With Viner Fourgates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Four Gates, where making your company work is our primary mission. For people who've been here a while, that's probably the best news you could hear. Well, I mean, yeah, and, and if you're Kevin Willard, with all due respect to everything he's accomplished, why wouldn't you want to learn from Gary, even if it's just through osmosis, you know, through what you, you know, hanging out with him on a golf course for three and a half or four hours. Yeah. So when Gary was here, he'd come over and talk to you right after the game. Any chance of that coming back? You know, I'll ask him. Uh, I'll, I would certainly ask because Coach that. that. One of the best things about coming to a game. Yeah, but it was also, you know, there were some situations after games, particularly after losses, where yeah. it, it was it could be tough sledding with mm -hmm. Gary. And, mm -hmm. you know, I consider him a great, great friend. But one of the things he, he said to me, one night, we were, uh, he'd walked off the court. It was a, actually this was down at GW. Uh, mm -hmm. It was in, playing GW in a tournament at, at MCI. MCI so yeah. He walked off the court. I got, I'm standing in the corner of the court, so literally steps mm -hmm. off the court, and I've got a microphone in front of his face, and I asked him a question, and he looked at me and he said, "You've had three hours to think of a question, and that's the best you could do." Mm -hmm. And you know, so and I don't blame him because well, it, th that it, was the best you could do. It, well, at that point in time, there is the point is, Wayne. There is no good question to ask him after a game.